this is Jonathan Andrews coming to you from the United World Nation Media Center in Johannesburg. We're talking about the hashtag Get Peace Project, our first film, and a call for stories. Check out our website www.unitedworldnation.org and www.getpeaceproject.com to see what we're all about. Now, hashtag Get Peace Project, the G-E-T stands for Get Earth Together. Say no more. Those of you who are already following the hashtag Get Peace Project would know that we had our first film premiere on the 27th of January. 27th of January is also International Holocaust Remembrance Day. And it was very appropriate for us to release our film the story of Lena Amato on that day. The film is a true story about a Holocaust survivor alive in Cape Town today. It's a film that I made in collaboration with the Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Turkish Embassy in Pretoria. It's about the Turkish Consul General Selahattin Ulkoman, who during July 1944 saved 42 Jews from deportation from the island of Rhodes by the Nazis to Auschwitz. The Gestapo rounded up the entire population on Rhodes Island, more than 1,751 Jews, and of these, only 151 survived. This story of Lena Marto, the DVD is available on our website for sale. Please support us. This story is a very inspirational, very important story that I was privileged to make. Now, when news broke that the premiere was going to take place on the 27th of January, it was quite widely publicized. Thank you to all the media. There was a question I was asked a few times, and that was, what do you want this film to do? And the answer is very simple, still is very simple, and that is, I want for the story of Lena Amato to be an inspiration to others who have a legacy, others who have a story, others who can inspire us and change the world that we live in to come to us and have us tell their story. We want powerful human stories. That's what the Get Peace Project is all about. And exactly that thing happened. An article which was published in the Pretoria News about the film on uh, the 30th of January was picked up and was read by a very interesting man. He contacted me and I subsequently met with him once or twice. I'd love this to become a next film for the Get Peace Project, by the way. And the story that he shared with me is nothing short of incredible. I'm going to give you the gist of it. During his matric year, uh, he was involved in a motorcycle accident. Apparently, a speeding taxi collided with him. And in this accident, he sustained what's called global brain trauma. Now, that means that he sustained severe brain damage, basically disabled. Now, there's a big uh, debate what is disabled and what is abled, nonetheless. He sustained severe brain damage and he was admitted to hospital in a coma. The doctors gave him a 5% chance of survival that first night. Six and a half months later, he was still in a coma, still in hospital. And they discharged him, sent him home, probably to die. However, two weeks later, he regained consciousness. And this is where the incredible story begins. He was not the same anymore. Life changed. He was now a disabled person. 
he had to learn to walk again. He had to learn to speak again. He had to learn fine motor skills again. He had to come to terms with the fact that he's now different. He has recollection of life before the accident, but everything after that changed. The amazing thing is that he regained consciousness, but he went on to finish school as a disabled person. Then what he did, he obtained four university degrees. A disabled person obtained four university degrees. Now that's a powerful story to tell, and that's something that the Get Peace Project wants to inspire in people. Now this story, and I haven't said this man's name yet, because if we do end up doing something, I really, I think he's a bit of a superhero, and I would want to think of a superhero name for him. But this is what, this is what we want. This is the kind of story that we want to become part of and that we want to put on this platform and that we want to share with the world. It's something which makes me think that it can actually happen to any of us at any time. He didn't ask to be involved in that accident. It happened and he became a disabled person. Stay tuned for what might develop there. This is reaching out to you to contact us with your powerful human story. Make your voice heard. Browse to the website www.unitedworldnation.org and connect with us. The Get Peace Project is about telling powerful human stories. Before I go, if you would like me to come and talk at an event about what we do and the Get Peace Project and the United World Nation initiative, I would be delighted to hear what your ideas are. Please contact me by email info at getpeaceproject.com. That's info at getpeaceproject.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, United World Nation, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. This is Jonathan Andrews from the United World Nation Media Center in Johannesburg. See you on the social media streets. <laughs>